Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a solutions architect here at ClickTech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a chart. So we've already loaded up uh, our data into ClickView, and we've created a few extra objects here, which you can see how to do in other videos. So now we're going to create a chart. So we're going to right-click, go New Sheet Object, and I'm going to select a chart. From here, there's uh, many different kinds of charts. I can select down in the middle section here with the icons. Uh, and uh, in this case, we're going to take the default of, of creating a uh, bar chart. At the top, we'll uh, give this chart a name. We'll just call it Sales. And then we'll follow our way through the wizard. So click the Next button. First, we uh, are asked to select the dimensions uh, that, that we are going to put into the chart. Uh, so in our case, why don't we uh, look at Sales by Country. So we'll select Country. And then we'll click Next again. I'm brought up with this expression window here. And this is the, uh, the expression that we're going to add up for each of those uh, countries. Or, or another way to look at it is uh, this is our measure. So uh, we're going to sum sales. So I can use the aggregations down at the bottom here and just use the drop downs and go Sum and select Sales. And then simply hit Paste. So that helps me through with a little bit of a more of a wizard format. If I choose to, I can also type directly into the expression window. So I could just type sum, and you can see here it finds what I'm typing, put the bracket in, and start to type sales, and predictive text finds that as well, and add the bracket in. You can choose to do it either way. Click OK on that. We'll give this uh, expression a, uh, a label, and we'll just call it sales again. I could now continue through the wizard and define other properties of the chart. However, I just want to create a basic chart today, so I'm just going to simply hit Finish. So you can see here my chart's been created. It's summing sales by country. Uh, I can change the size of the chart if I choose to, and I can also check to see if the chart's working. Uh, I can do that in a few different ways. One, I can select on my list boxes over here. For example, I select on Brazil, and I can see I, I uh, focus in on Brazil. And I can also select directly on the chart like that. Uh, from here, I could go on and continue to uh, adjust the chart as needed uh, for, for my particular application. Uh, and I could also add additional objects uh, to the application. This concludes ClickView tips and tricks for today. For additional information, please do consult ClickView community. And of course, for in-depth information, the ClickView partners and expert services are always available. Thank you very much.